Hello everybody, it is I, Granite, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal with our Gen 2 type challenge of Ghost Type. And yes, hello Krishinabon. Let's go spooky, absolutely. Spooky is very spooky. With all of his let's go to sleep attacks. My weekend was well, my chair is stuck just a second. I need to just get a new plastic thing for this to roll on it from the carpet. The one that's in here has been here since we like moved in. We're gonna speed through these trainers really quick um, to uh, get to Blackthorn. Uh, yeah, my weekend was well for Shinobon. Uh Sorry for the delay there. Um, I I hope your weekend was also well. Uh, any issues with the team thus far? We it took us two tries to be Jasmine. Uh, we just had some bad rolls there. Um, other than that, no, nah, there's not a whole lot. Uh, we're leveling up pretty fast with this team. As you can see, we're going to be a level over um, Claire's team. So that's nice. Excellent. We are leveling up super fast. Alright, let's get through the ice cave. level do you have the team when you fight the uh, elite four uh we usually get our team up to level 45 when we go into the elite four and so at this point we are like way ahead of our grass training which is awesome because then we don't have to like do any grass training so yeah 45 is always what we go in at Alright, that's two boulders down.
Uh, you never played Crystal, and besides the Suicune catching thing, are there any other bug differences between it and the GS? Uh, not that I know of, bug-wise. I know... I mean, really, there's not a whole lot of difference between... Uh, gold, silver, and crystal, apart from move sets on Pokemon. I mean, that's the big thing. Alright, that's a rest. We definitely want this. So we're going to teach rest to Gengar. In place of Nightshade. <laughs> Darn autocorrect. So you didn't mean, mean to say bug. I guess you meant to say big differences between it and uh, the GS version. Am I correct? See, when you said like bug things, I was like, oh, is there like a bug? Uh, with catching Suicune, I was like, what bug? <laughs> yeah, I think the big thing is, like, there's a, there's several Pokemon that have different move sets um, from Crystal to Gold and Silver that are actually better. Like, Yanma, for example, earns Weak Attack in Crystal, but doesn't in um, Gold Silver. Uh, Pokemon Power Up. I think we're gonna just save that. Iron. I don't think we need irons. Really, our big thing is special attack. We're just gonna sell those. We're gonna sell Sleep Talk. Okay. I should still have Mischievous up front. I'm sorry. So into the gym we go. I'm trying to think what other differences there are. None of the um, gym leaders change teams. So really apart from like, you know, the sprite movement and Pokemon movesets and Suicune, there's not a whole bunch of big differences. Good job, Mischievous. Taking it out with a Shadow Ball. I could be wrong, though. And there could be differences that I'm not thinking of. Oh, stones. You can actually get Pokemon stones, like evolution stones, from trainers calling you. And in gold and silver, you can only get evolution stones from Bill's dad um, and the post game. Unless it's a sunstone or a moonstone. That's a big difference. Genga. The more. S <laughs> yeah. Good luck against Claire, aka the most sore lose gym leader of all time. I mean, Whitney cries when you beat her, but at least you just turn around and uh, she gives you the jet, the badge. Where Claire's like, nope, nope, go do this. Thunder Punch, Ginya. Yeah, they made it really hard to get stones in gold and silver. But yeah, Claire has to go do a side quest, and even when you do it, she still doesn't want to give you the badge until the old guy like that's in there that says, Claire, stop being a bad word and give him the badge. Let's 
Sidra. Thunder. Thunder. Lightning and the thunder. Alright. Shadow Ball! Much bulkier than the Dratinis. Well, we can take two more. We can't really take two more. We can take one more of those. Good thing we got the Shadow Ball. Excellent. This should level up Mischievous as well. Alright, let's swap up the Spook. Spook Central up in here. Punch. Spook will be the slayer of dragons. He's fast. He hits hard. And he doesn't like Christmas. So these dragons just stand next to lava all day? Yeah, I guess. I mean... <laughs> Must have some, like, fire impervious suits on or something. Paralyze heal, mischievous, and then soupy potion, mischievous. And we're ready to take on Claire. Let's go. I am Claire. Maybe it's not real lava. Maybe it's just, like, you know, hot tub, red dyed water. Let's go spooky! Ice punch! Alright, another Dragomare. Beat the Dragon Master. Does she know about Lance, who's the champion? I guess, yeah, she's not the best. She thinks she is. Two down. How could she beat a Dragon Master with no Dragonite? I, it's a valid question. I don't know. It's all about that Kingdra, I guess. Right, we're going to keep Spooky out to uh, take on Kingdra, even though uh, Gengar's still at 41. Hypnosis! Nice! First try! Drop a Nightmare! Ah, oh, one turn wake up, lame sauce. Let's try again, I guess. There we go. Now we can dreamy to get some health back. Oh, really? Come on. So how does Nightmare work? Nightmare can only be used on sleeping Pokemon, and every turn that they're asleep and they take damage from Nightmare, they lose one-fourth of their total hit points. Yeah. 
So yeah, use it on a sleeping Pokemon. Every turn they're asleep and Nightmare is on them afterwards, they lose one-fourth of their hit points. So if they stay asleep a long time, man, it it really does work. And when they wake back up, it goes away until you put them to sleep and use it again. Correct. Uh, we're just going to speed up through this guy. Calcium is good. Friends, strategy, anyone, knowledge, both. Let's get out of here. So we get our Master Ball. It's not here. Who am I thinking? The item I want to get is right over here. Okay. Uh, we'll start out with Mischievous on this fight. Just let Mischievous take out the Ivasaur as well. Then we'll swap the Spooky for the Venusaur. Ah, oh, not quite strong enough. But we did confuse it. Hit yourself. Hit yourself, knock out. Yeah, excellent. Still counts as a one hit. Swap 
Swippity Swap Spooky. Please punch. I don't think we need to go over and get the TM for Solar Beam uh, and fight the guy with the Farfetch'd. It's just a Farfetch'd. We'll just skip that in this playthrough. Ah, this is not a good matchup for Mischievous. Yeah, ducks, that's right. Hit yourself. Not even one time. Oh, there it is. Quagsire. Uh, we'll let Mischievous take on Quagsire. Get that final level up. Well, not the final level up, but get the level up. Earthquake, that's gonna hurt. I don't know why I'm speeding through it. I need to keep my finger off the spacebar. What do we got left? Execute. Spooky. Guess I'm just antsy to get to the Elite Four. Sand Slash, excellent. Oh, see, that's not a good fight for Spooky. Can we put it to sleep? Now let's switch. So who will be the troublesome Pokemon of the Elite for Houndoom? Houndoom and Umbreon. Those are going to be the troublesome Pokemon of the Elite Four. Got him. Thought 
the punch. Ooh, a Nitto Queen. Let's go, Spooky. But it's really what I foresee just being the issue, though, with the Elite Four is going to be Karen's a uh, couple dark types that actually know good dark moves. Uh, we should be able to blast through her Murkrow, no problem. And the Umbreon is just tanky. And the Houndoom is just a pain in the butt. Couple more water popes. You don't see Will as a problem. Uh, yeah, Mischievous is going to take him on because it knows Shadow Ball. Uh, also, all of Will's uh, Psychic types have a secondary type that we have a move that's super effective against as well. Ice Punch and Thunder Punch is super effective against the Zot 2s. Uh, Ice Punch and Fire Punch are super effective against the um, Executor. Fire Punch is super effective against the Jinx. And Thunder Punch is super effective against the Slow Bro. So, Mischievous and the Gengars have super effective attacks that we can use against them. Ideally, Mischievous takes them on because it doesn't have the weakness that the Gengars do. But if we need to take the, Mind the Gengars out, then we will. We've got a few trainers here. We're just going to get past these. Because we shouldn't have any issues with them. And we want to get to our rival in the Elite Four. Not what I wanted to do. Come on, another hypnosis. Wow. Okay. Let's just get trashed by not hitting a hypnosis again. Swap up Gengar. Oh, wait, I need to get this item. This is actually. I need to get the item because it's actually a good item. Let's not hop past. It told you no nap. 
I put it to sleep once, but it woke up after one turn of sleep. Alright, rival fight time. Bring it, Sneasel. Swap the spooky for gold back. The spooky still needs the game to get up to level 44. There we go. Back to Gengar for the Magneton. Haunter's coming out next. We swap the Mistrevis. Next is Meganium. We are going to swap to Gengar. Now, sadly, he's got a Reflect Up, which means that my Shadow Ball damage is going to be halved, because Ghost Attacks, for some reason, are physical. Uh, but I guess since it was level 35, it didn't matter. Alright, let's just see if we can level up really quick. Need to get rid of my repel. Just gonna take down a couple things with this traverse.
All right, what do we not need? Let's get rid of the Awakenings. And the Paralyzed Heals, because we have full heals. We have four of them already. All right, so we got Mischievous, level 45, 130 HP. Uh, pretty even across the board, a little higher special than physical stats and good speed. Side Beam, Swift, uh, Fuse Ray, Shadow Ball. Spooky's got a Quick Claw, Ice Punch, Hypnosis, Dream Meter, Nightmare. Good speed, good special, pretty uh, even otherwise. 131 hit points, 127 hit points for Gengar. It's got higher special than Spooky. Good speed. Thunder Punch, Fire Punch. Rest and Curse. Uh, and we are going to start with the old Mischievous herself. So let's give it a save. Just in case something glitches out. And in we go. Time for Will. Not Zatu. Almost said not to, but it's not a not to. It's a Zatu. Shadow Ball. We are fast. Good thing to know that we're strong enough to take out a level 40 Zatu. Thank you for the good luck. Here comes the other Zatu. And really, it's these two Zatus that I'm worried about. Slam! Nice job, Mr. Viss. Look at you go, girl. Guy, it's boy. It's boy, Mr. Viss. Jinx. Three down, two to go. Executor coming out next. Ooh, he's the bulky one. It's all right, we take it down before it gains any health from the seed. So I think we switch just because of the leech seed. I'm not overly worried about Parish Song. Now, we are going to learn Parish Song. Because Parish Song is a good last-ditch thing to know. So let's swap to the old Gengar. Ye old day Gengar. One down. All right, let's swap up Gengar. Koga time. Venomoth coming out next. Let's just repeat. 
My Gengars are fast. Oh, he survived. Well, that um, confusion's not nice. Ah, still got it. Excellent. I was really afraid he was going to use like a psychic. That might have hurt a bit. What do we got next? Now, see, I really want to keep Gengar out for Fortress. I mean, he can't hurt us with his explosion. What's he got? Protect, Spikes, and... I don't even know what his other attack is. All right, we hurt ourselves in Confusion. Congratulations. Twice! Spikes are scattered all around. We are just running out to Confusion is all we're doing. All right, we're no longer confused, so that's good. We're gonna Hyper Potion here. I mean, that's all I can do is protect and put out the spikes. This fortress cannot hurt us. Get out of here. So is he sending out Crobat next? No, he does send out the Muck. We're going to swap the Spooky. Yeah, we're hurt a little by Spikes. Put it to sleep! Excellent! Here come the Dream Eater! Gonna eat those dreams! Gonna get them! Nom nom nom. Now remember, Dream Eater's got a base power of 100. And we heal for 50% of the damage we deal. Whoa! Bolding Rama! Thanks for the raid over the party of seven. Welcome everybody to the stream as we're taking on the Elite Four with our ghost type team. Welcome, welcome. All we have left here on Koga is that Crow Bat. Punch it with the ice punch. Ooh, good damage though. I don't like double teams. There's a chance we'll miss this. He's gonna full restore, we'll just speed up that healing. Raid! Good punch. Welcome, Raiders. One more ice punch to get a spooky. Excellent. Koga is down. Whoa. Hey, Bolding Rama. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's get past the talk. No talk. Uh, we're going to start Bruno with Mischievous. Remember, we don't talk about Bruno, but, you know, Bruno. You're one of the few people who actually say my name right? Excellent, Bolding Rama. I am glad that I say your name right. The reason we are starting with Mischievous against Bruno is because his Hitmon top that he starts with knows Dig, which is super effective against our other two Pokemon. Slybeam? Good confusion. Hit yourself. Not quite. But we have the perfect move for this. Oh, we, wait, whoa. Whoa. Swift is supposed to hit everything, even if they're dug under the ground. I call hacks. Someone didn't code correctly. Hit yourself. Well, darn. Ah, he hurt himself underground. Excellent. I know. What? That's exactly what my reaction was, Krishnabon. 
I was like, excuse me? Uh, let's give, bring out the uh, Spookmeister. Swift Mist. We've been swaggered. Should I switch? Let's see if we can put it to sleep. Darn. Uh, Genga. Let's just thunder punch this. You thought I could only hit a flying opponent not underground? That's probably how it is coded. That is probably how it is coded. Yet, I, I run under the assumption that Swift only hits unless it is protected. That's almost as crazy as the time that Clefairy beat your Moltres with one KO mo metronome. Yeah, because it metronome licked us and paralyzed us, and then because it survived our fire attack. And then it, when, because of the paralysis, we were slower than it, and then it guillotined us with its second metronome. That was ridiculous. I do remember that very well, Crescendo. <laughs> Hitmonchan coming out next. Just checked, and it does not hit when digging or flying. Weird. From Gen 2 onwards. No way. So it's only OP in Gen 1. We have eaten the dreams of this Hitmonchan. He is no more. All we have left is the Machamp. That's not good. Jinwa was a buggy coated mess, you're not surprised by that. Sleep! Yes! We needed that sleep because he identified us already, and that's not good. Gen 1 is full of crazy things. Crazy! Which is why we're glad we're past Gen 1 and we're on to Gen 2 where things maybe make sense. That rock slide's probably gonna hurt a little bit. Well, Bruno's gonna heal him. So hopefully we can put him back to sleep. <laughs> Blizzard having a 100% hit rate makes your science rubble still. I can see that. There he's asleep again. Excellent. So since we know that a Dream Eater doesn't take him out in a single hit, we're gonna Nightmare him. Heal me back up, please. One health, no rest. Alright. Here's gonna be the hard fight. We're gonna start off with the old Spookmeister himself. Sleep. Good early hypnosis. Excellent. That was key, 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 key. All right, so this Umbreon is a pain in the butt because of its wall. So we're going to put the major hurt on it. So he's already taken D.O.T. from the Nightmare. 
Now we're going to drop a curse on it. Excellent. All right now, now here's the problem. <laughs> we still gotta get past Houndoom. Uh, let us thunder punch this Murkrow. So here's the plan for Hound Doom, because he's coming out next. Mr. Vess. Nightmare Curse. That's crazy damage. Yes, it is. <laughs> Perish Song! That's gonna hurt. All right, Mr. Viss, you've done your job. Now, spook. Go to sleep. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha, you're asleep with a parish song count! Get owned. Oh, what a switch. I have to say, I didn't see that coming. He's still asleep, though. Oh, well, paralysis isn't very nice. Can I put it to sleep? Oh, fully paralyzed, though. All right, you pedal dance us. It's not going to do... Oh, my God, full paralysis. Right up. Not gonna lie. Karen, that was an amazing switch. Whoa. AI skills. But I'm hoping what works in our favor is his sleep count is gonna be reset. And we have Spooky on the field. Which means we can just nightmare him right off. The AI is a lot better in Gen 1. Yeah, it is. It actually has an AI. Now we're going to swap over to Gengar again. They actually have decent moves too. Whoa! Curse it. Uh-oh. But we got the curse on it before it crunched us. So even though we go down, it's cursed. So we swap the Mischievous. Oh, it doesn't take the damage. Because it knocked us out. Okay. What about Muse, probably? Yeah. You still got the curse on it on you, though. Wow. Mute. Muse gonna get some experience here. <laughs> Alright, Gengar. Dang, two Gengars, says X Slayer. Yeah, that, that's just because. So, if you if you exclamation mark rules, you'll see the rules that I do for these monotype playthroughs. Um, I only use teams of three or four, and usually all the Pokemon are different types. But there's only two ghost type 
Pokemon evolution lines in Gen 2. So there had to be a repeat. <laughs> and so Gengar, we could actually have two different Gengars built. So that's why we have two Gengars on the team. Alright, Lance time. I am not worried about Lance. The only time you've seen Muse get experience. Yeah, that's about right. They usually just sit there with their HMs and be happy. Hello, Gyarados. Yeah, especially in this generation, it's weird because ghost moves are physical. Yeah, you are absolutely correct. It's a bunch of baloney. It's the same way in Gen 3, because they don't do the proper split until Gen 4. We're going to Thunder Punch this Gyarados and hopefully just watch it go down in a single blaze of glory. Goodbye! Ghosts are pretty ignored in this gen, along with Dragon Type. You are correct. Speaking of Dragon Type, here comes the Dragon Knight. Not many Pokemon or moves. Yeah, there's only two Dragon Type Pokemon. And Dragon Type moves, what, there's Twister, Outrage, and Dragon Breath. You know, apart from Dragon Rage. Voice Punch! And the Dragon moves are special, aren't they? Yes, they are. You are absolutely correct. Dragonite number two. Second verse, same as the first. Spooky. Spooky. So good. Ah, the Aerodactyl. Something we actually have to worry about. Genya. Well, he can only bite us and rock slide us. Thunder! The Aerodactyl's pretty bulky. I, he'll survive this. Okay, he used rock slide instead of bite, so I think we'll actually be okay. I guess it's neither the punches are special to benefit Gengar. It's the only way he's usable, like, actually, like, feasible. You know, the punches actually make him good because it uses his special attack. And he can learn all three of them. It's the same thing with Alakazam. He can learn all the punches. Punch. Gives him great coverage. Just the Gengars themselves are going to take Lance out. As long as we survive the flamethrower. Oh yeah. 7 HP is good as any. I could send out Mischievous and like Paris perish some of this last one. We'll go spooky. Makes him a better Pokemon than Hitmonchan. You are correct! <laughs> Spooky! Gasp. Single Ice Punch. It's because of that massively high special attack that, that Gengars have. Look at that. Success, a Rooney. Look at that Giga. Mr. Viss, you're so bad. Spooky!
All right, we don't care about the muse. 10 out of 10. Thank you very much. That just means that all we have left is to uh, fly through Kanto and uh, take on the Red Boy to finish out this uh, playthrough. Let's uh, get this before I forget. All right, so we are going to end this episode here. Um, I'm going to go eat some lunch and work out. And uh, I should be back after lunch with another episode. So for those of you who are just joining, thank you very much for joining today. If you want to catch me after lunch, uh, you can follow and get those notifications. So you know when I come back online, I do these streams on Mondays and Tuesdays. We're working through all the Gen 2 Pokemon for all their types. So this is playthrough 11 out of 59 that we have to do. And then we're moving on to Gen 3. So hope you all do did enjoy the episode. Uh, thanks for joining in. And we'll see you after lunch. Take care, everybody.